Yeah, I was I was imprisoned in during martial law. Uh, at that time, I was a student at the University of the Philippines, and we abhorred the way the President Marcos um, governed the nation. He imposed martial law uh, against the wishes of the people. He trampled on our rights, and so we we fought hard, but we paid a high price. Like I lost my sister. My sister was killed in detention. Me, I was also imprisoned. I gave birth to my oldest daughter in prison. And so when I came out, I told myself that I will devote my time to fighting for human rights because I don't like any Filipino or anyone ever again to suffer the way we suffered during martial law. So when I went out, I helped in the campaign for the release of political prisoners and I helped in the campaign for the welfare of the political prisoners, uh, visiting them and giving uh, material support to, to them. No? And now uh, in December, for example, we were able to visit the women political prisoners in Camp Bagong Diwa and they told me that they cannot even get a newspaper or get pencil and paper so that they can write. I said, it's worse than martial law because during martial law, we were able to get books and newspapers and we have ball pens and papers to write on what, what we would like to write. This government has the penchant of hiding the political nature of the cases of political prisoners by slapping charges of uh, slapping criminal charges against them like murder, arson, robbery, illegal possession of firearms, not political cases. And so uh, when we raised the campaign for the release of political prisoners, Executive Secretary Lashierda said, there are no political prisoners. I said, oh, he sounds like Marcos. <laughs> because Marcos was like that. He said that there are no political prisoners. Well, there were hundreds of political prisoners inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.